So for our next speaker, we have Molly Havard talking to us uh, about a simulation-based medical education tool for the advancement of quality and safety training in radiation oncology. Good morning, thanks for the introduction. Today, I will be presenting this simulation-based medical education tool. This study was funded through an innovation grant from the American College of Radiology and is led by two graduates of the University of Washington Residency Program, Matt Spraker and Megan McCumber. Radiation oncologists and medical physicists are leaders within the department and having a good understanding of quality and safety topics is increasingly becoming recognized as an essential part of radiation oncology practice. National meetings have increased quality and safety content and more practices are participating in society accreditation programs. However, ACGME guidelines regarding QI and safety are vague and the depth and breadth of expectations for resident education is ever increasing. In 2016, Matt Spraker and a group of University of Washington faculty conducted a survey of medical and physics residents in radiation oncology. While some residents reported having good exposure and training in their institutions, there was a lot of heterogeneity. More than 60% of residents had no exposure or only informal exposure to incident learning systems, root cause analysis, failure mode and effects analysis, and concepts of human factors engineering. And medical residents overall had less exposure than physics residents and felt less confident in leading failure mode and effects analyses in clinic. Only 27% of residents felt that patient safety training was adequate in their program. And when asked about desired educational modalities, they experienced uh, experiential learning through practical workshops was preferred over web-based learning. Residents in departments that have an incident learning system in place reported greater exposure to patient safety concepts and overall they felt more confident in leading patient safety and QI programs than residents in training programs without an incident learning system. Experiential learning allows residents to work alongside seasoned faculty and continuously apply new learning to patients in clinic. This method of learning is common in clinical training, but program directors face many challenges in designing immersive quality and safety training programs. We surveyed radiation oncology and medical physics program directors to better understand the patient safety and QI training in their respective programs in 2017. And survey questions asked about current training, elements of the curriculum, and barriers to development or improvement of safety and QI training. Program directors viewed these as important topics in resident education and commonly cited barriers to developing or improving training included lack of infrastructure like time, resources, or funding, as well as expertise. So based on the results of these studies, we wanted to improve access to high quality and efficient patient safety and QI training. And simulation-based medical education is now popular and offers an opportunity to address these challenges by increasing access to experiential learning. We created a SBME tool and we next plan to pilot test this platform using a simulated medical error like a patient safety incident in radiation oncology. The simulation tool was built on ACR's Cortex software and allows learners to work through educational slide-based multimedia cases similar to a choose your own adventure game. Our pilot case is an incident of a patient with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer undergoing palliative spine radiation, and it comes to light after her treatment that her spine was not aligned correctly. So the therapist realized after treating the patient that they had aligned to the wrong vertebral body, and Spacey the Needle serves as a slightly quirky narrator that guides the learner through the module. The learner follows along as the therapy team members progress through managing the safety incident using the department's quality improvement programs. 
and the case uses a mix of narrative scenes, short didactic sessions delivered by Spacey the Needle, and interactive elements designed to keep the learner engaged throughout this simulation. The web-based and interactive nature of Cortex also offers an opportunity to evaluate learners on more subjective topics, like decision-making and a leadership role during a medical error. The module integrates branched learning pathways where different interactions lead to different outcomes. This allows for teaching complex learning objectives like understanding how to maintain a positive safety culture. The module includes a two-part case which can be completed in less than one hour and covers a wide range of important topics such as <laughs> incident learning, root cause analysis, and the importance of a blame-free culture. We are currently enrolling for participation in pilot testing this program. Participants will first complete a survey and a short pretest to assess general knowledge of important concepts in patient safety and QI, and then they will log into the web-based portal and complete the simulated case followed by a short post-test that will be sent out at a later date. Participants will additionally be offered an opportunity to participate in an optional focus group discussion with four to five other participants in each group. And during these focus groups, we aim to get feedback on the simulation and discuss how it may fit into educational programs. All participants who complete the pilot test will be entered into a random drawing to win one of 10 $500 Amazon gift cards with an additional drawing for focus group participants. Um, we are aiming to enroll up to 300 participants, including radiation oncology and physics residents, residency program directors, or early career practicing radiation oncologists. And we will close enrollment once we hit this cap or at midnight on May 31st. Enrollment will be on a first come first serve basis and I have included a QR code in my slides for enrollment on the study, or please feel free to reach out to myself or Matt Spraker if you're interested in enrolling yourself or members of your program. Thanks so much for having me today. And again, here's the QR code um, if you're interested in participating.